New Mexico governor has gone crazy. True communist. True act of civil war. The governor says part of this new health order is a 30-day suspension on open and concealed carry on public property for anyone except for law enforcement or licensed security. Oh, great. The only people going to carry guns are the criminals and the criminals in badges? I've warned everyone that we expect a challenge. Probably while you're writing this, we're getting a challenge, and that's the way it should work. But I have to take a tough, direct stand where basically I'm just ignoring the fact that we lost an 11-year-old, another child. The order is effective as of today and again only applies to Bernalillo County. The governor is basing the order on the county averaging more than a thousand or excuse me, averaging more than 1,000 violent crimes per 100,000 people and a lot of emergency room visits for gun injuries. As for enforcement, she admits it will, quote, be complicated, but they're working with state police and district attorneys on how it will work. The governor says anyone caught breaking the order will fall under a civil violation connected to her public health order. Oh, that's the only thing good here. Civil charges. That means they know they can't get away with it. They know they're being criminals by bringing these charges, but they're going to do it anyways. They're just hoping you're too stupid to be able to move a motion through a court to be able to get their bullshit dismissed. If you want to figure that out, go to my website, check out the course that's going to teach you how to make a motion move through a court. The governor says she doesn't expect criminals to follow the order, but she hopes it's, quote, a resounding message to everyone else in the community to report gun crime. Message to everyone. Now, if you don't like your neighbor, just report them for having guns or gun crimes because everything's a gun crime now in New Mexico. The point here is, is that if everyone did it and I wasn't legally challenged, you would have fewer risks on the street. And I could safely to say to every New Mexican and particularly those folks living in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County, I believe that you're safer for the next 30 days. We'll have to wait and see. She knows that's a complete lie. And any cop supporting her is a criminal. Alongside the order, the governor is appointing former state police chief Pete, Pete Cassettis to head up a task force on gun violence. There is also a $750,000 appropriation to help pay for this order. Back to you. Welcome to the Freedom Unchained channel. Crazy governor of New Mexico has issued a complete and absolutely criminal decree because she thinks she's so powerful and she can just uh, make up laws like most men think they can do in this country, which they can't, men can't make laws, that's not true law. But anyways, I'm getting off subject. But her actions to strip men from their right to carry and protect themselves in the streets and the, protect their families in the streets from criminals has been suspended. And now only the criminals are allowed to have guns because they'll have guns anyways and then they'll go and then they're going to continue to shoot people and destroy their lives. So this is gonna stop nothing, produce more violence, kill more people, and give the government more excuses to steal more of your rights because they're going to probably have a false flag event during some kind of protest for this bill, against this bill, or against this uh, executive order, if you want to call it. It's pretty much a bill. It's a bill to trump up charges against a bunch of uh, law-abiding American citizens here in uh, in New Mexico. That is their plan. This plan this is a plan to steal more of your rights. That's all this thing's going to do. If it gets upheld in court, there's probably gonna be a lot of blood in the streets from some true patriot Americans. I hope not does not happen. I hope we do succeed in the courts. Then uh, we can have a little bit more hope for these court systems. 
as we fight to the end of this country. This country is not going to last much longer, but I think you guys all know that. But uh, we as a people will succeed and be prosperous if we all come together and build a uh, parallel economy against these crooked, crooked people trying to destroy this world. But we're going to see what's going to come from this for the next few days. I'm going to guarantee there will be some protests. I'm already hearing some lawyers planning um, to get some people arrested so they have some standing, because you need standing to get this shit thrown out. <clears throat> Which is um, sometimes a hard thing to do, even though when uh, they openly declare you uh, don't have a right to do something and then uh, send out their minions, the little uh, order followers to do their dirty work for them. Um, there should be standing for every American to be able to go into court and uh, stop these tyrants, but um, unfortunately it's a little harder than that. But, I just wanted to document this uh, event because this is, I just have a feeling, this is going to be uh, the beginning, the beginning of uh, some big struggles for this uh, country in the next, probably until the uh, criminal Biden family is taken out of office. And Trump can go through and uh, clean office. Hopefully that's what he'll do. If not, then uh, we really have no hope for this country at all. So uh, it's a good thing we're working behind the scenes to build something for everybody to transfer into. I don't have the funding for it or the team to build it, but I'm slowly building it myself. God gave me this path, so this is the one I got to follow. So no matter what, this is what I got to do to help the, our families, our gen future generations. We can't uh, allow the government to con continue anymore in these uh, criminal processes that they believe that they've uh, indoctrinated the American people to believe, let's put it that way, are uh, lawful. They've indoctrinated the uh, people of this country to believe they have more power than they do. They actually have zero power. We as a people have all the power. We just don't know how to use it. So if you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Leave a comment. Let's get a conversation started. I think I'm going to start continuing to document the downfall of a society as James Freeman would put it. It's a great saying, so I'm going to steal it. And until next time, I'm going to leave you guys in the love and light of one infinite creator. Peace.